I'm Joy. And this morning I was kind of just gazing at our fish fire bowl and thinking about the element of water and how water reminds us to be adaptable and a willingness to kind of go with the flow. It also relates to our emotional body. And during this time of uncertainty, I thought it might be a sweet practice um, to kind of get into the mobility of our own joints, right? So I'm gonna share a very brief joint freeing sequence that I learned from my yoga therapy teacher that encourages us to kind of just reconnect to the fluidity of the body, to kind of ground back into this instrument that holds all of the elements of life. So to begin, um, I'm going to invite you to come into a neutral stance. In yoga, this might be referred to as Tadasana. And just starting with the joint of the ankle, right? And just feeling your body drop its weight down into the feet and begin the rolling of the heel, right? And noticing how that moves the ankle. And I'm, for this little video, I'm just doing four circles in each direction. And then I'm gonna switch. <sighs> Remembering the breath, right? Noticing if we're holding our breath and reversing it and using the breath as a way to invite the mind to drop down into the body so we can feel what sensations are going on for us. I'm gonna bring my feet and knees together and systematically we're gonna work up the body. So as I come into my knees, I'm gonna place my hands right on my kneecaps and do four circles to the right and then four circles to the left. Our knees take so much of the weight of our bodies. And so taking a moment to kind of just give them a little bit of attention and then moving up into our hips as if I had a hula hoop on, right? And just again, four circles around in this direction and then reversing, just freeing up any tension we might be feeling in the body and where we might be storing it. Lovely, and then I'm just gonna gently wrap my arms around my rib cage. <sighs> Again, reminding myself to, to breathe out <sighs> and then to breathe in. And as I come center, I'm gonna just bring my awareness now into my wrists and just circling my hands in one direction four times and then reversing it in the other direction. And then as if I had rain or water on my fingertips, I'm just going to shake my hands. Moving into my elbows, I'm just going to pat my shoulders and then turn my palms away. So I'm going to touch in and press out. Again, just four rounds for this little demonstration. And this is something you can do on your own at home. And you can put on your own music and make it as long or as short as you want. Moving on into my shoulder girdle here. And then exhaling, breathing nice and fully deeply in. <sighs> Placing the hands onto the thighs. I'm gonna leave with my heart. And at the same time, I'm gonna let the brow of my forehead kind of extend out and down. And then rolling up one vertebra at a time. Chin drawing down into the notch between my collarbones. Exhaling as I roll down. Inhaling as I roll up. And you can make this as subtle or as dynamic as is appropriate for your body today. From here, I'm gonna just gonna take my head and make little circles as I lead with my nose, as if I had a crayon on the tip of my nose, drawing a little circle around in one direction four times. When I move slower, I have the ability to really sense into what's alive in my body right now. And exhaling, I'm gonna go around in the other direction. And just honoring wherever you're at, whatever you're feeling. Again, this is just an opportunity to move energy, ground back into our bodies, Moving on into my jaw. And just as if I was chewing something. 
and a willingness to be really silly. <laughs> and then reversing it. And then inhaling a nice full breath in. Just gathering up that vital life force that we breathe in with our inhalation. Exhaling out. May this brief little sequence be of nourishment and of benefit to you. Namaste.